All right, Capricorn, what the heck is going on? The underlying energy for this week is the devil. So this is about, um, this is a lot of things that this can, um, this can mean, okay? Since this is a love life, I'm going to just go through each and every possible meaning the devil has that is kind of like really making it kind of difficult to just pinpoint exactly which one of these are. Because a lot of these are saying to me that they all apply for some of you, um, different groups of you. It doesn't mean for all of you guys, it means for uh, every last one of these meanings that I'm going to list, but it does mean that a lot of these are actually true for you guys. For some of you guys, um, the devil for you guys, the annoying energy this week is about old habits. Okay. Regressing back to old habits. This is about diff uh, a, the same pattern of something, um, kind of an addiction or based off, based off of things that you guys used to do old, like I said old habits right behavioral um, behavioral things that um, that just possibly um, kind of are like something that you say that you something that you believe that you cannot help but they actually can be helped um, another one of these is an attachment to something um, to someone even. Maybe this is about uh, this is, could be a connection with somebody that you feel that it's kind of involuntary or something that you cannot move out of or can't get out of. Um, and for some of you guys, this is actually a karmic connection, a cosmic connection, excuse me, and an actual, a very deep and innate, um, actually deep and psychic even um, connection with someone. Um, it's coming back up for y'all. So this is something that's. Definitely, like, you guys can be split up, you guys can be broken up, but this is a connection that does not break, okay? And it's between two people, as you see here at the very end. They're attached to these two chains here, and the devil's sitting on it. But, you see, the devil, he's, he is, he is Capricorn. The Cap the devil card, it represents Capricorn. Um, Capricorn is, rep is ruled by Saturn. Saturn is all about karma. So, when there's something definitely, it, like, like, like keeping you from like moving forward in a relationship or something like that. Saturn has a saying that there is something karmic within the, you, your last partner or whoever you know you have this and you know this attachment to uh, that is cannot be broken. Okay, you guys are cosmically attached. So those are all the meanings that I am picking up for this. I don't think this is speaking about alcoholism or drugs, but I do think this is about um, behavior. Um, behavior habits that are that are a factor in this week. That's pretty much the cover of this whole week. A karmic connection with somebody that you used to know that could be an ex or someone that you're actually with um, currently that you have a karmic connection with or something in regards to being attached to um, or just, you know, feeling like like you guys are feeling stuck in a situation that you guys can get out of so it could be like again an addiction in which you do have the option or you feel like it's unremovable but you can remove yourself from it okay it's just like feeling feeling stuck but not really feeling stuck if that makes sense it's like it's an it's a voluntary stuck so the energy is pretty interesting okay um the heart of your reading here is the Three of Pentacles. Now, for the devil coming up as the underlying energy with the Three of Pentacles, for me, this is saying that whatever this this uh, this energy is, it's kind of like not so fun energy. Um, the devil is actually can be fun. It can be enjoying yourself and like kind of like you know doing stuff like or maybe even having sex. But the point is with this. It's about that bad, ha like these habits are kind of keeping you from making plans right now. Okay, the the, the plan, like this, the the old habits or this karmic kind of connection is is a factor in the plans here. Okay, so in in regards to the heart of your reading here, this is about planning for the future with someone or planning for the future in regards to someone. But this is usually planning for the future in, with a group of people. Um, for some of you guys, it could just be you guys with a, a, a significant other that you guys are planning the future with. For some of you guys, if you guys are single, this is just planning in regards to someone or around someone in regards to the future. Or if you don't have anybody in your life right now, this is planning for your own future. But you're 
the either your your behavior is is catching up. Or kind of is is a factor in this as well. It's has something to do with that. Is in regards to a cause of connection, um, but um, what's keeping you guys from making um, from planning for the future is the four of swords. There is no rest. There is no break. Um, there's a break needed. There's a time of rest, but there isn't any. There's no. There's no break, and that could also speak of another habit for you guys as well. You guys are all about work, 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 and you guys don't have time to take a rest. So there is some rest here that isn't taken, and it's kind of interfering in your plans, kind of interfering in your planning for the future. Okay, um, for the Five of Cups in your current energy, this speaks of um, a staying optimistic and um, and, um, and working with the cups that you still have remaining. Okay, if, I mean the past it sucks. You see that your cups have spilt, fish is dying, you know, you just, you just, like, wasted all that wine. It sucks. There's some regret there, some missed opportunities even in the past as well. Um, it's just, it just, it's really hard to kind of move from the past to the, you know, to the present. But it's possible. You do have something there. You even have a support with the two cups. The two cups means that there's a, even there's still a relationship there, and that's why I said that some of you guys, maybe there's an attachment with a relationship that that you feel that's involuntary, or you just feel like you can't really move out of, but you can. It is something that is not necessarily um, out of your control. It's, everything is in your control. It's just the illusion that the devil gives that makes you it makes it feel like you're out of the control. So if you feel like you're stuck in the past, even the devil is saying that yes, you may I may look like I'm having control over you, but you have every I have every ability to go ahead and get out of these shackles and move forward to the future. Focus on the two cups that you have. So this is saying that you do have two cups ahead. You can make progress. You can move forward. You can have. You do have a relationship and support with you uh, in front of you. You still have a relationship there. Just like it's time for you to work on. It's time to you to focus on those two cups there. Okay. Um, with the in the past, you have the page of wands. This is about getting news or receiving news in the past. This is also a spark of something passionate beginning um, for some of you. It's not like a, a ace of wands where it's be a major beginning with um, a, like a major passionate beginning here. This is very kind of minor, very, very minor in a way actually. For some of you guys, something sparking, sorry, something sparked that sparked excitement in the past. Um, like again, it could be something starting very small, but very, but kind of exciting, very, right? Burning with passion. And for some of you guys, you guys have received some news in the past. Um, because in the present here, you guys are working with the sun. You have clarity. You have happiness, potential happiness here. Um, perhaps some of you guys have children. But like I said before, I think it was, it was in Cancer's. Not um, exactly sure, but a couple of my other videos here. Um... I don't see any of the other cards saying that you. this is about children or you're about to expect or anything because you don't have the Empress or anything like that. So it's a very small chance that there's children involved, but for right, in the present, you guys are dealing with clarity and potential happiness at the sun. Um, you guys are enjoying the heat and the illumination of the sun where it, can, it clears all that is hidden. Well, it shows all that is hidden and it, it basically has this... Um, clarity that the moon cannot give you at night. Okay, so this is a time of clarity. You guys are pretty, you guys are feeling pretty happy at this time, or feeling very, you know, very clear on what's going on with you guys. In the future, though, you do have the King of Cups. So this is about somebody that's loving, nurturing, um, very caring as well. There's someone, well, there's someone that's very in tune to their emotions and their feelings. Um, they don't really express that very much. They're all about how they feel. So they're the best at feeling things, they're the best at, 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 you know, sensing things and trusting their instincts and their intuition. That's what the King of Cups is all about. So this could be you guys, perhaps, Falling in love, being that lover, really, you know, in the feels, in the future. That's how you guys feel, especially with the sun coming up for you guys. 
it could be a passionate um, a passionate um, message possibly or some news received you have some happiness now but you see yourself as like very loved up and romantic for some of you guys you guys could be um, this could be someone that you're seeing that's a Pisces Cancer Scorpio it doesn't have to have a gender uh, associated with this but it's definitely saying that this person is very attuned to their feelings okay so this could be like I said this could be you guys you guys could see yourselves very loved up at this time or in the future um, or in love and honestly I hope you guys do like get all loved up and stuff now the good thing about all of this right the outcome for you guys for this week is the five uh sorry this is the four of wands this is about commitment celebrating a sense of security um oh, sense of security but a stay um a sense of stability um it's leveling up or moving up in a relationship or a, a sense of or a um state of commitment okay so for some of you guys you guys could be moving up in a relationship like becoming from you know romance interests uh, romantic interests to dating uh to actually to like you know boyfriend and girlfriend so if those of you girlfriend boyfriend and girlfriend could be fiance you guys could be turned into you know fiancés or even marriage um i don't see the higher front so i wouldn't say specifically marriage but definitely moving up in a state of commitment is coming up for you guys um in your outcome and i think that's freaking awesome so with the devil coming up with old habits, um, a connection with someone, this is a common connection with someone and it's planning for the future. Now I really think that, I think that maybe the, the devil's sitting here for sure now after going through the whole reading is that saying that this is a cosmic connection. This cosmic connection is um, basically, uh, basically with old habits attached to it as well. Possibly had some caused some issues in the past that made you guys is making you guys feel like feel a little sad, sorrowful, um, have some regret. But this connection is so is so innate and so psychic and in you know and deep that um, you guys have the sun now. And you guys have even the four of wands there to even move you up in. In stability and commitment, guys. So that's great. Um, for the card, uh, for the ace, sorry, ah, the uh, romance angel card here that we have for this week is finance and career. Financial issues are a factor in your love life right now. Now that then comes back up to the devil. Now, like I said, the uh, Cap Capricorns, um. Capricorn rules the card, rules the devil card, and it's about things that are like they're always they're, like Capricorns are known for working very hard and focusing on work um, and things like that. They're really um, practical oriented and um, work oriented, right? They have they have work that they, they would prefer to do than have a relationship for some of them. For some Capricorns, not all, but some. Um, with, the, with that is said, for some of you guys, perhaps money is more of a factor, and it's kind of coming back up for you guys. It's working on those issues. It's working on your financial stuff, knowing, understanding, and trusting that your work is fine. Have a relationship to push it forward. So maybe, maybe you guys. I don't see any signs saying that you guys are broke at this time. Um, maybe this because the Three of Pentacles again is about playing for the future with the group. This could mean that you guys are focusing on the practical stuff in, in regards to the future, but you guys aren't taking a rest in regards to, like, work or whatever. You guys are probably working a lot or always planning, and you're not taking a break. You guys are just kind of, like, really focused on, on the practical stuff, right? So, for some of you... This could mean that, you know, finances for you guys are fine. Everything's good. You know, you have the sun there. That means everything's fine. Everything's great. Everything's dandy. Everything's pretty clear. And um, nothing to worry about. But it also means that, um, you know, it, be, it just basically says that, you know, it, if that's good, you just have to, like, this is the time for you guys to work on your relationship. This is the time for you guys to really... 
um, really like enjoy the couple and the you know your finances with your partner now. Um, that's good. That's that's good. That definitely can mean that can explain. Excuse me, the five of cups there for you, for some of you guys. This uh, really like it's uh, time for you guys to like take a break off of work possibly and really enjoy your partners and spend as much time and as much loving um, energy into them as you uh, as you enjoy your vacation or try to like or, you know have a vacation and spend some time with your love all right so the um, the wisdom or card is the loyal heart with two owls I love owls this is my favorite um, this card basically explains um, fidelity loyalty and devotion so as so with this is kind of goes back to what I was saying about the relationships this is about really putting in that that time um, in your relationships right now to have that connection with your partner this is about focusing on your connection your cosmic connection even uh, with your partner instead of some habits in regards to like working on focusing on work and planning for the future it's being in the moment guys being in the moment means making that connection with that person with your partner deeper and then and how you see your future with this going that way is, is um is all loved up and in your feels and just feeling all like teddy bearish and who doesn't want to be a teddy bear like that's amazing it's like that's perfect so this time guys is definitely to work on like letting go of some other attachments as far as work possibly having this giving this time to relax because what's keeping you from planning for the future is not taking a break okay you have to take a break now it's to really focus on your relationship instead of letting uh, miss opportunities work possibly other things that keep you occupied okay